Today we pick up our Bible study in Mark chapter 7, verses 14 through 16. In Mark chapter 7, verses 14 through 16, as I quote from the New King James Version, Jesus calls the multitude together to hear what he has to say and then declares, Hear me, everyone, and understand. There's nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him, but the things which come out of him. Those are the things that defile a man. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Jesus then departs and leaves the multitude to ponder his declaration. Why would he do this without explaining the meaning of his teaching? The Pharisees and scribes have just questioned Jesus as to why he does not follow their man-made traditions. They have just questioned the human form of God to his face. Jesus gives yet another example of a tradition that is irrelevant to having a heart that is in a right relationship with God, the food we eat. Jesus states in Mark chapter 7, verse 15, quoting from the New King James Version, There is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are things that defile a man. This is a command to listen and to hear the words of Jesus so that we may understand what he is teaching us in drawing near to God. But what is important to this statement made by Jesus in Mark chapter 7 verses 14 through 16? Jesus begins with the words, hear me everyone and understand. He ends this declaration with the words, If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. He ends this statement with an exclamation mark. I was taught in my college undergraduate studies in English composition that an exclamation mark is only to be used in an extreme situation and that we should be careful in doing so as it is to add extreme power to the statement. Jesus ends this statement with an exclamation mark. He means what he says with great power. Jesus then leaves, giving the multitude, which we may believe still contains the Pharisees and scribes who question Jesus, with an additional lesson to further magnify what he has already taught. He wants them to ponder over, to let it all sink in of what he has taught them. He wants them to remember his teachings as they are important unto his purpose of being on this earth, that it is the condition of our hearts that brings us to a believing faith in God and then enables us to follow his will for our lives. Dear Lord, we are hard-headed, just as were those in the multitude that Jesus was trying to reach with his teachings. Please help us in this fast-paced world to slow down when we are studying your word so that we may allow time to ponder the teaching that you're trying to show us each day. Please help us to listen to your word, your Holy Spirit speaking to our hearts, and to hear what you are saying to us in these lessons so that we may understand them and what it is that you are leading us to in your will for our lives in Christ. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.